Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 65, rolling into the end of April, onto May. It's raining here, but it is Seattle, so I guess that's not unusual. Uh, tell your friends it rains here all the time, so none of them move here. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't here right now with us. Uh, we have a few people, but a lot of people are on vacation that said they would be, so, uh, but I think we got enough to have decent conversations about, you know, well, <laughs> the agenda, which is triage. And then Bob wanted to do a Wix 3.10 review of what bugs are assigned to whom and are we actually going to get these all fixed um, in some amount of time because Visual Studio 2015 has got to be getting close, right? Right? Close? Sometime soon? Um, and then, as always, we'll open it up for the floor if anybody has anything else, although it's a small group today, so I'm not expecting too much, but hey, you guys could always surprise me. On to triage. Bob, you there? I am here and ready to go. All right. Oh, cool. I still have a mouse cursor. So, four bugs here, and then we'll go do the 310 bugs over there. All right. So, here we go. Bootstrapper crashes when setup built with VS. When setup built with VS 2013 update 4. I've updated to that, updated to that. When I build our Bootstrap application execute, it seems our custom UI is loading partially, but before they are displayed, crashes. But I do this all the time. I have things that are built with VS Update 2013. It's the, well, Update 4 is the latest uh, VS Update. update. Four, yeah, and I have Update 4. I actually checked. Um, oh, before we updated this, installed that, tested one. So uh, He must have something. Like, this works for me. Let's see. John said he was writing something here. Oh, I've lost my mouse cursor. Of course I've lost my mouse cursor. So do I. All right. So this is not us then? I, this isn't us. I just built one. Well, and there's no... Well, yeah, so... Wait, wait. So do I, John, are you saying you, it crashes for you too? If you build your UI against VS 2014? I'm confused. Because I just did this. Only when adding a file to... I don't know what that means. Only when adding a file to a Wix project? You get a crash from Visual Studio? Ah. Uh, oh. That's that's not what this is. This is the bundle crashing, right? That's what it looks like. But right. there's no detail here about what... You know, is it managed BA, native BA? Um, you know, there were changes between 3.8 and 3.9. Um, no, 6 1, that's uh, Windows 7. Hmm. Well, I mean, obviously, there's not a lot of data here to go off of it. I mean, it looks like I mean, it, it's possible that some change between 3 8 and 3 9. Is not compatible, or maybe there's a new code path that doesn't like what they've done. But you know, this I, seems to be a you know, it needs the bugging. Yeah, and I, it's chances are it's on their side because we have we would have way more people screaming at us if native BAs were failing. I mean, I've built at least three yeah. of them, plus the Wix one, and it's update four too. Like you know. And the managed one, so yeah. I, so th this is probably them. Like, yeah, it's, let, let's tell them the usual thing. Hey, try turn on G flags. It's you know there are a lot of native BAs that are working just fine with VS Update four. You know, it's probably the compiler changed enough that maybe it's exposing a bug in their BA that hasn't been exposed in the past. But at this point, I, I don't believe this is anything in Wix. We'd be seeing this way more. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we, again, we don't even know what kind of BA it is. No, so, so let's push this back, and they should yeah. investigate a bit farther. You know, kill them the almighty trick of G-Flags, and maybe that'll find something. I haven't tried normal debugging from the symbols, the package symbols, with a managed BA, so I don't know how to do that. If it's crashing, it's probably not a managed BA, but yeah. 
Well, that's a fair point, isn't it? Probably an exception. You know, it'd be different. Hey, anyway, that's what Good I'm just point. guessing. Custom action daily build. If you do the steps to this, uh, the CA targets won't work. That might be true. I believe that would be true. I oh, oh, man. See, yeah, this is the problem, right? Going back to maybe 3.0, if not before, um, where the binaries and the installers have a slightly different layout. Right. Not unlike the problem we have where the libraries have slightly different layouts. Yeah. Well, I don't do um, managed custom actions, so I don't ever track this problem, but I believe it's, yeah. it's probably true. Um, all right. Yeah. Actually, where do you want to put it? Update that title. Um, mm. Three X. Yeah, I'm trying to think whether we can actually fix this in three X without, you know, breaking somebody. No, no, just a documentation change. Just tell them how to do it. Oh. I mean, that's the well, fix in yeah. three. The fix in three is documentation. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we. I, I hope we fix this kind of stuff in four, and we got the binary layout all right now. Right? I thought we did that. My memory. Uh, that I don't know. Um, I suppose we could take this as a 3x doc bug. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm fine with that. Feature settings engine history. Yeah, I don't agree with this. I don't know why this person's asking for this. <laughs> No. It's, oh, I like. Uh, yes. Yeah, and it's in 4x. I I can see it. Nice feature to have in the future. All right. I also would hold four for it because it, the default is reasonable. Allow prerequisite evaluation and install even if MBA can start without them. Allow. Yeah. So this is. I want .NET. You know, like four five two or four six. Uh huh. But my BA only needs, you know, 3.5 or 4.0. So the BA starts up, .NET installs requires a reboot. Because that, .NET is definitely in use if the managed BA is yes. running. Right. Uh, so build your BA against the Visual Studio that you want on the machine. That will force it, right? Yeah, except you apparently – well, sorry, you can't statically declare a dependency on, like, 4.5.2. I think. So is this another thing that we have to put in the config to handle in the supported runtime thing inside Burn to be able to call out these backwards compatible but not quite the same .NET frameworks? Um, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. I, I don't, I don't know for sure. I, I, I kind of assumed that you could actually specify. You know, something later than four five. You could actually, you know, call it out as four five one or four five two. It would surprise me if you can, because we haven't touched that since they started doing this pattern. For sorry. Uh, oh, I guess my assumption is that this was something that .NET looked at and handled. Is that not the case? Is this mm -mm. something to do with? I don't the think NBA there's a. Host? I don't know. Yeah, it's in the NBA host that does a lot of work there. I just figured out, Phil says, I just figured out today that SKU takes 451. Ah, right. But I don't think you can specify SKU. Can you specify SKU in our supported runtime thing? That might be missing. Although, if you put in your config file that you require 45, so the supported runtime was for 35 fallback and stuff like that. Uh, all this stuff is so complicated. Load and CLR is so complicated like this. Um, um, this should be possible, not the way he's talking. That it says a prereq marked as force prereq. No, not as force. It's, it's yeah, in supported runtime, but not supported framework. Oh, I see. So you could put SKU in supported runtime, and then that will force you to be .NET Framework 4.5.1. Right. I, that's that sounds right. Like you should be able to put something in your config file that says. I want the 451 runtime or the 452 runtime. 
Now, whether we allow that today or not is something else, and there's probably a doc bug on it. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So if you put that on the supported runtime, that should cause MBA to try to load and fail because it will say it wants the SKU and it can't find it. Right? Is that right, Phil? That little block of stuff? That sounds right to me. I don't know that we support SKU in that, though. Do we not? Oh, supported runtime I thought was the built-in config thing. Right. Yeah, th that works. What we don't support is su in our special supported framework thing that does magic to whack on your your um, uh, config file to basically give you an order. It's like, well, I can do I can do four, or I can do two, and I want to do four if possible, but if not, then do two. That allows us to, we actually whack your config file with XML, just uh, with XML, um, MSXML. We rewrite your config file to get it to be correct. If you just write it like the way that Phil has laid out there, then you don't have a problem. And hopefully CLR never does that crazy side-by-side 20354 -side mess that they created where you can't tell which one's which um, easily, such that that. So I think that's right. So I think the answer is take the supported runtime that with the SKU piece on it and put that, although profile is gone in 451, I thought, but um, you can remove the profile of the client. Right, profile equals client is ignored now. Oh, oh it's only 4.0. 4 right. It's only 4.0 that had, had, right. had profiles, so, yeah. I, anyway, I, I think. But anyway, so that's the answer, right? If I think if you put all that stuff in there, this should work. So I think that's it. Yeah, I, I think that's it. So um, I, can we just grab Phil's little block of fix and put it in here and say, this is how you fix your problem? I think that will get us to a good place. Not he can reopen the bug, and we just need a feature to force the MBA to be able to tell something similar. I think that's the way to do that. Does that make sense? Bob's like, I have no. to type. No. Well, that's another problem. No, I'm just I'm just looking at the host code, and I'm I'm not. It's not host code. This stuff. It's not host code. It's we give the bootstrapper core config to the CLR and say, load the CLR based off this XML file. And the CLR will then go and try to do so. And if you have the SKU in there, uh, it will try to, um, it, well, it will force it to look for a 451, and it will only load it four five ones on the machine, which then means MBA will fail like it always does because it couldn't load the right CLR. Okay. It's it's not us. It, this is supported runtime is a a dot config thing that the CLR reads the runtime configuration, and it will that allows you to force the CLR that you're running on, even though for if you want to force your to run on four five two, you can specify it through that SKU mechanism. Why they didn't just do it? Yeah. Why they didn't just say? change the first thing to say I can put 452 in the, the version and make it clearer. Is, I don't know why they had to go off and create the skew concept, but that's what they chose to do. Bob, you want to do 310 bugs? Yes, please. You sound completely unpleased with the answer to that last bug. Yep. <laughs> All right. Nine. We have nine. I think one of these is fixed. How do you want to go through these, Bob? Uh, go through them? All right. And 
order? I don't know. Okay. The Eulas thing, it's yours. You said you had a breakthrough on this, right? Maybe? No. No. Kind of. Kind of. Um, so what we have to decide here is which versions we do this for. Well, as many as we can, right? I, I mean, that's one option. I I thought we were stuck on this because we just don't have the Eulas for some people, right? I remember. No, that. we can we can get them. I mean, we we have to download every single version of .NET and every single language pack that we want to support. We can get them. Um, you know, we talked about we could you know, mimic the Microsoft FW Link thing where we get the automatic loc for free. Um, this is if we host them on our site? Yeah. Right. There's a non-trivial amount of work. Um, I suspect that going forward we won't have this problem. Um, it, it was brought to my attention that the uh, MBA, the prereq BA, mm -hmm. uh, uses the link form of the license. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, enough people are properly motivated now to support that. Got gotcha. you. But for like 452, not going to happen. They're not going to retroactively go back and give us a link? Doesn't appear so. Um, yeah, so we discussed this before. Yeah, the, the problem here is all of the localized EULAs. Um, I think the only real answer is our own license server, essentially. <laughs> license web app. Um, I don't think, I don't think anything else works. I mean, you know, we end up, we, we end up needing to you know, conditionalize whether we support localized EULAs or everyone's, you know, everyone is toting around, you know, a meg and a half worth of licenses. <laughs> I feel a lot of the licenses are probably, you know, identical except for, like, the version number in the header because lawyers are like that. So the question is, do we build the Wix tool set website that does this? The website uh, provides these yes. landing and pages. Do we, do we do this in time to also implement that, you know, the hook in Wix 3.10? A, sorry, what's the hook? Remind me, the, what's the hook for? Well, sorry, we have to, if we write the service, then we have to, you know, adapt the, the, package groups to use that service. Right, but isn't that just provide a URL in the Wix variable that's missing today? Or is that? Yes. Okay. I didn't say it was hard. I just okay. Said good. I, okay. Good, good. Right. Uh, so, yeah. So, we, we put the Wix variable in and we have a website where they all land. Yep. What do they point at right now? Like, where are they being sent Nothing. right now? Nothing. So the link doesn't show up? No. It doesn't link. Show up. It just doesn't link to anything. It doesn't. Sorry. Light fails. Oh. Because oh. we don't provide the Wix variable that oh. provides. So, so, so someone else has to do URL. it. Right. Yes. Yes. Sorry. And this is the bane of my existence because you look, everyone is, is customizing the .NET package groups. Um, in part because of this, even though it's not necessary. Um, so, yeah. It's non-trivial. I really wish we could just, I don't know, make people use the right one. Or at least let us know why they're not using it. Um, so anyway, sorry, that's completely tangential. Yeah, four five four five zero was the last version that has the Yule link in it. So 451 and 452, you know, if you try to link them in as your your prereq for your MBA, it fails. 
they work fine as you know non MBA package groups, but. Um, I'm inclined to point them at a page that does not exist on Wix toolset today, just so that we can put something there in the future. Um, if that makes sense. like basically, so it's a dead link. Oh, it's no, it's not a dead link. It's a link you have to provide yourself, which then leads people down the wrong path. So instead, it could be a live link or it'll be a link to something that in the future we will put in the right we will put in the right place or we will do something so smart people will happily link and then i don't know maybe violate a license agreement cuz we're not providing the eula well i don't know how they're <laughs> well i'm thinking we could get these eulas you're saying that there's a bunch of them that we have to go acquire right uh, 50. 26. All right, 26. Well, 50 because there's a 4, 5, right? 4, 5, 2, no. and 4, 6. Oh, I okay. counted. I count. No, I. It's 13 languages. 4, four, six, four 6 won't be a problem. So this yeah. is only 4, 5, 1 and 4, 5, 2. Got it. So it's the 13 languages in each of those then? Yeah, uh, so maybe it's 28. Okay, fine. Uh, so, so they're all. There's, there's no place you can get them. You have to download the package and then extract the license. It's a mess. Um, and it's a temp well, I won't say temporary mess. It's a it's a mess from the past. <laughs> Which happens to be the one. current. <laughs> Today it's the current, yes. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not comfortable not fixing this correctly, given that it's a Yula. I know it's stupid because this is a EULA that you know, very few people are going to click on. And it's annoying that it's a EULA that, you know, as Phil points out, they're basically identical. Um, but, you know, lawyers. I don't. Yeah, it's just work. It's like you said, it's just a block of work. Yeah, I mean, if we wanted to do the web service, it's not, you know, it's not hard. Again, you know, fine, 28, but it tells me, uh, you yeah, know, it's a simple lookup. Can we get the language in the URL? <sighs> um using the Wix standard BAs, you know, language ID. Yeah, that's why I added that new variable. Yeah, but uh, if we put it in the URL, will actually be resolved, or are we just going to get URL, square bracket, blah? Or do we have to update the... Uh, we might have to, I think. I have to look. I, 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 I noticed that problem when I was looking at this bug. Um, and I made some changes to Wix standard BA. I don't know if that one was necessary, but if it is, it's trivial, and I've done it once. So, well, I'll do the web part if you want to do the other. If you get the li if you if you're willing to get or someone is willing to get the licenses and make that change if it's necessary to put the link in it, I can do the website of it. It won't take that long. It'll be relatively straightforward. It's create a mapping between LC yeah. to to RTF file and then hand out RTF file as a download. And it won't be fantastic. It'll be kind of weird. You'll click this link. It'll open a browser, and the browser will say, here's an RTF file. Open. And you'll be like, okay. That's what happens today. So. Oh, well, then then it's not any worse than it is today, so that makes me feel better. Right. I was actually wondering if we're doing better than that. So, yeah. yeah. That It's not horrible. Just we could host our. I will. I can do that if we get the other side. All right. Let's leave it open. The website will not be that horrible to do. Burn supports caching pa caching only packages. We have no Heath. Nope. I wish we did.
Um, I would vote we move this. Um, are we going to get, like, I guess we have to give a notification of all the people that aren't here for their bugs that, hey, we're doing this, we're finished, this is gone. Maybe we just say, um, yeah, uh, how about we basically put this on the watch list? Yeah, this is going to 311 if it doesn't happen soon. Yep. Great. All right, yep, cool. that works. Do we take this fix in three? Temp file for the update feed deleted, or did it go in four? I think we'll just do the same thing. Jacob knows about these bugs. If he was here, he would know. We'd yeah, I he should close it anyway. So how about we just poke him and say, hey, 310 is finishing. If you're going to get these done in 310, get them done. I yeah, think he's I close. It. It's, it's, it's in. All right, cool. So, And I know he was talking about this allows multiple clicks thing, so I don't know where that landed. He and Sean were talking about it. Yeah, that one is not done. That's not done. But all right, so we'll poke him, have him close one bug, and get his fix in for the other one. Object reference not set to an instance of object. The rest of you are going to be yours, Bob. I already got my doc bug up there now. So we're having a conversation with yourself about the bugs that you <laughs> kind of try to do. I, I, I don't talk to myself. That's weird. <laughs> um, okay, fine. Let's let's talk to myself then. <laughs> I, I have... I, I would love for all these to get fixed, but I'm not going to be able to fix them, so... <laughs> Unless you're out there going, anybody wants to help you, you're you're it's either happening or it's getting pushed. Right. Now that's that's the key. I want to talk about the things that we might need to push. Um, or yeah, this one sucks. This is a bad error message. From right? yeah, it's horrible. Um, you know, uh, when very soon we're going to start talking about dates, and and you know, this is the kind of thing that I'm. I'm concerned that even if it's something I can figure out without, you know, needing to set up a whole big repro case, mm -hmm. it's not something I'm going to want to fix at this point. I I don't disagree. So I am going to say that this should be moved back into 3x. I don't disagree. The only question right. is whether you want to put it in 3.11, but, you know, that's the question. 3x it goes yeah. in a gigantic pile. 311 it goes in a very right, small right, pile. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, let's take advantage of it. 311 is already there, so it is. Let's just move it. Very good. Then. I think that's probably the right thing to do. Um, kind of all of these things that were. Okay, I was going to say, are we going to talk about each of these the same way? <laughs> well, sorry, no. no being I, scarier than the average bear. So, <laughs> for the things that we uh, decide to. Okay move out of 310, we should probably just move them to 311. You they were important enough, enough at one yeah. point. Word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're a dog. <laughs> Thank you. I got to use that twice today. It's awesome. And for not calling me dog this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. G-Funk, whatever that is. I, what was that back in the 90s, early? I don't know. It was a high school thing. Not that I knew what I was doing back then, anyway. So... Um. Uh, this one I have actually uh, fixed. Oh. Um, well, fixed, quote unquote, with a big "do not merge" uh, comment around it. <laughs> uh, no, basically, all I do is I I go to try to load one of the new strings. If it fails, I load the old string and uh. add it as uh, look strings for. Cool. Uh, the new strings. I had to actually add a function to Locutal to let you add a string. Oh. Right now we kind of say everything comes from a Wixel. From Wixel. Yeah. And uh, so I added one. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, this one needs yeah a little bit of testing. Okay. It's not bad. I just don't happen to have sounds like it can make that scenario set up. So this is yeah soon. And this I just saw come in. Yes, that one yes. is done. Yeah, so I need to. I was, I didn't have a chance to look at it, but yep, this is similar. 
that has a pull request open for it. Documentation bug on quiet this. And that has a pull. Yes, I saw this come in. So this is going to leave, what do we have here, three? Uh, but you do. You sent, you sent pull requests like just before. Oh, sneaky. Yeah. All right. I'm awesome. Yeah, yeah, you are. It was the window I had. I didn't have anything else to do. I was in this meeting. I was just sitting here going, oh, okay, cool. So that leaves <laughs> us uh, this bug, 4716, to finish, hopefully. Uh, 4629 to move to 311 because we're afraid of pyro. Already um, done. Oh, all right. All right. Sure. All right, cool. That leaves uh, this thing is close. Jacobs hopefully is close. Um, oh, did you just get rid of Jacobs? Oh, you closed it because it's already closed. I, all right, fine. Yeah. You resolved it. Fine. Yep. Um, this uh, is up to Heath to go do his thing. This is a bit more work than we want it to be, but the 418 is you know more work than we want it to be, but you know we're going to do it because it's probably the right thing. Otherwise, we propagate it bad, bad habit. So that will be 310, which will leave us with a work item on 4180, a work item on 4716, 4512 also being worked on, I believe, and then 4432, which I expect will get punted if Heath doesn't you know, do that. Yep. Yep. He was That's not bad. He was confused as to how much work was done. Um, although, you know, honestly, at this point, I don't think we take 4432 in 310. Um, yeah, I'd want to be very careful about the, uh, about the Given size the, of the change. The size of the changes that I've seen every time this has come through, I have a really hard time saying that goes in 11, uh, 10. I think we moved yeah. to 11. I think you should move it to 11. Well, I'll I'll let him make his case. All right. On that note, we're done with triage. On to um, questions, comments, things people want to talk about, ask about, all that kind of stuff. Not a lot of people out there, so it's kind of quiet. You have anything else, Bob? I mean, we're excited. Like, build is this week, right? It's kind of snuck up on me. I'm like, wow, already build? Well, yeah, well, right. Um, um, yeah, we're. I'm. I'm hopeful that build is going to be where they, you know, they talk about dates, you know, actual dates for Visual yeah. Studio 2015. Um, so maybe next week we can talk about that and talk about you know how that turns into. <clears throat> probably what we want to do is as soon as we're you know like current on Visual Studio 2015, you know whatever build they release <laughs> at build. Um, yeah, you know, we can talk about a, a Wix 310 RC. Um, yes, right. And and then we talk about you know the RTM date again, assuming that Microsoft's going to uh, start talking about when Visual Studio is going to ship. Um, that's probably probably less likely. I'm I'm assuming there's you know there's going to be a new build and and we're getting close, but. Because it is almost April, right? They've been talking about it's summer and fall. It's almost May. We're in almost May, April. right? We're in April. It's almost May. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Um, next week maybe we'll we'll have some more details to talk about, which would be nice. Yeah. Um, Phil, yeah. The the problem the problem I ran into um, is that. Done if framework has like blockers that immediately prevent you from even extracting files with the with the slash x command line switch. Uh, so sometimes you have to you know pick a different OS to run to extract the stuff, which is the other reason I'm not really thrilled with that whole EULA thing because I'm going to have to do that like 28 times and I don't think I can do them all on. Windows 8.1 to boot up an XPVM or something. Sounds like fun. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So now, just change code sign cert to SHA-52, not Tessie yet. Bundle, bundle says SHA-1. 
I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure bundle the uh, insignia and such can handle SHA-256. I hope so. Okay, good. So that's John. Once again, John has already done that. Uh, okay, so anything else? Going, going? Gone? All right, I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, good stuff. It's nice to see 310, actually. It was, it was in way better shape than I thought it was going to be, um, given the last meetings we've had. Um, right. I, I, we kept adding and adding and adding. Yes. And but I, mostly small stuff, so that's helped. Agreed, agreed. And controlled things, so... And the, honestly, the only thing I think I'm going to be sad about is not getting is that pyro bug. But that pyro bug is like, ugh. So, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. The the, pro the problem is it's one of those, yes, we should investigate that. And by the time it's investigated, it's too scary to fix. Well, uh, it's always 3.11. That's why we're doing 3.11, right? That's right. All right. On that note, on that very, very happy note, um, always sum up pyro is a great way to end your um, your <laughs> meetings. Everybody loves patching. Um, until next week, we're going to get this up. And um, random plug, you may not have seen Fire Giant's new blog, but it's out there. And uh, on Fire Giant, Bob's actually doing the work, but we're going to be posting um, summaries of this. So if you are not in a, if you're in a hurry, you don't want to watch the whole video, you can go through the summary and decide if there's something interesting for you to go watch. So uh, anyway, if you haven't seen that yet. Check those out because those will be showing up hopefully in the not too distant future for this meeting. So I guess I should go do that, huh? <sighs> that was subtle. You like how I did that? All right. Yeah. Until next week. That was, we'll that was subtle. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.